वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर हितेश दुधकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू बायोट सावट लॉ इन दिस वीडियो नाउ वेन एवर यू इनिशिएट योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग बेस्ड ऑन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स थियरी देन फर्स्ट रूल दैट यू शुड स्टडी इज बायोट सावट लॉ वाई द रीजन इज यूजिंग बायोट सावट लॉ वन कैन अंडरस्टैंड magnitude and direction of magnetic field intensity due to current carrying wire so without wasting much time let us try to understand first what is biot savart law so as i have said if we have current carrying wire so this is the wire which i am having right now through this wire let us say current i is passing and if i want to calculate magnetic field intensity due to small differential length so let us say this is what small differential length which we have and this is dl and its direction will be tangent to curve and if we want to measure magnetic field intensity at point p due to this small differential length dl right then here first we need to have position vector of this dl with respect to point p so let us say this position vector that is r so now we can identify magnetic field intensity at point p now here we want to calculate magnetic field intensity due to small differential length dl so that magnetic field intensity will be dh right it is not for complete wire it is for small differential length dl so that will be directly proportional to differential current length so differential current length is i d l and first we will be calculating magnitude so here i am just writing dh instead of vector dh and it is also directly proportional to sine of angle between dl and position vector r so if i say angle between dl and position vector r is alpha then this dh is directly proportional to sin alpha divided by it is inversely proportional to square of distance between dl and p so distance is r so divided by r square that one can say so this differential magnetic field dh that is directly proportional to this and this proportionality constant that is 1 by 4 pi so we can say dh that is 1 by 4 pi i dl sin alpha divided by r square so biot savart law states what it states differential magnetic field is directly proportional to differential current length i dl it is also directly proportional to sin of angle between dl and position vector r so sin alpha which is angle between differential length and position vector r and it is inversely proportional to square of distance between dl and position so distance between dl and position is r so inversely proportional to r square so this is biot savart law let me write that first over here so the basic statement is magnetic field intensity is directly proportional to differential current element idl and sin of angle between dl and position vector r and it is inversely proportional to square of distance between them right now let us try to understand magnetic field intensity by direction so by direction this magnetic field intensity that will be 1 by 4 pi that is constant and if you observe here idl sin alpha is there so remember my dear students whenever there is sin of angle then there will be cross multiplication so cross multiplication of vector will be there whenever sin of angle is given to you so here if you observe sin alpha that is angle between dl and r so here i need to say i dl cross 
यूनिट वैक्टर आर डिवाइड बाय आर स्क्वेर दैट इज हाउ इट इज देयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ डायरेक्शन राइट नाउ हियर आई हैव सीन स्टूडेंट्स वेर सेइंग इन दैर बुक फॉर्मूला इज डिफरेंट नाउ सी फॉर्मूला इज नॉट डिफरेंट हियर आई हैव मैंशन यूनिट वैक्टर आर समाइम्स दे विल बी गिविंग यू दिस फॉर्मूला दैट इज देयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ वैक्टर आर सो इफ आई राइट आई डी एल क्रॉस वैक्टर आर देन यूनिट वैक्टर आर इज वॉट वैक्टर आर डिवाइड बाय मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ आर सो डिवाइड बाय आर क्यूब दैट विल बी गिवन सो फॉर्मूला इज नॉट डिफरेंट इट इज जस्ट अ केस ऑफ हाउ इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड हियर सो दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट फॉर्मूला फॉर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी यूजिंग बायोट सावर्ट लॉ नाउ आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू हैव अ कंप्लीट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड कैलकुलेशन यू सी दिस इज वॉट डिफरेंशियल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड कैलकुलेशन बट हियर वायर इज कैरिंग करंट आई एंड वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दैट फॉर स्मॉल डिफरेंशियल एंड डी एल सो कंप्लीट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दैट विल बी इंटीग्रेशन राइट सो टोटल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दैट विल बी इंटीग्रेशन राइट now let us try to understand what will be the unit of magnetic field intensity so you see here i is having unit of ampere then this dl is having unit of meter and this is there in terms of meter so ampere meter meter divided by meter cube so that is ampere per meter now let us try to understand how direction of magnetic field intensity is there so remember my dear students whenever you want to calculate direction of magnetic field intensity you will have to calculate that by having right hand thumb rule so you see this is my right hand right and this is thumb so if i say this is a wire so that is there in the direction of thumb right and if current is passing through the wire in this direction right then direction of finger that will be magnetic field direction right so if current is passing in this direction so direction of magnetic field that will be happening like this you see right and if current is passing through the wire like this in downward direction then you see right hand thumb rule that explains magnetic field that is happening like this now let us try to understand that by case study over here now here you can observe we have been given with current carrying wire right and our agenda is to identify direction of magnetic field at point p and at point q so if you apply right hand thumb rule then as per the direction of thumb which is there in the direction of current then direction of magnetic field that will be happening like this you see as i have said right now it will be happening like this and if you rotate your fingers then it will be happening like this right so this is what the direction of magnetic field so i can say at point p direction of magnetic field will be inside the page and at point q direction of magnetic field will be outward to the page so this is how we can identify direction of magnetic field using byard savard law i hope you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video